and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video I'm going to give you 7 reasons to use Unity in 2019. Let's begin. So here we are, it's 2019, and if you're brand new to game development, you might be wondering if Unity is a good choice to start using in 2019. There are lots of excellent game engines nowadays, and pretty much all of them have some sort of free version. This is definitely the best time ever to get started with game development, at least when it comes to the availability of tools. Now, I know this video might come across as almost an ad for Unity, but if you're here watching this video, I'm guessing you're interested in making games, which is what I do. I'm currently in the middle of developing my latest game using Unity, and I see no reason why I would switch in the future. Reason number one, C Sharp. Unity uses C Sharp, which is a very powerful language. It is continually getting support with new versions and updates, both to the language itself and the compiler. Performance-wise, it's already a very fast language, and with a new compiler and entity component system coming to Unity in 2019, it will only get even faster. Also, since it's one of the more popular languages, you can find tutorials on just about anything you can think of, as well as many libraries to help you out. And also, if in the future you wish to move away from game development into regular software development, c -sharp has lots of job opportunities. Reason number two, great for 2D and 3D. Despite being first marketed towards 3D game development, over the years there have been many 2D features added and right now you can really create anything you want regardless of the perspective. Nowadays you can find just as many 2D assets and tutorials as for 3D. You can make pixel perfect games or massive 3D worlds and anything in between. Recently they added IK support for 2D characters so you can easily create cool animations. So as you see they are constantly adding tools for both 2D and 3D. Reason number three, wide platform support. Unity supports lots of different platforms and in a very simple way. With the push of a button, you can build your game to work on Windows, Mac or Linux. If you're publishing on Steam, then you should know that while most people do use Windows, there are still a lot of people who prefer Mac or Linux. So having such an effortless way to give those people a native build is a huge plus and really helps you stand out in a crowded market. If you're interested in mobile development, you can easily export to Android or iOS, along with many optimization features to make sure your game runs smoothly on any kind of mobile hardware. And it also supports consoles as well as VR and the web. So essentially if you make a game in Unity, you can get it running on pretty much any system you find. Reason number 4. Real world use cases. The list of games made in Unity is already massive and just keeps growing. You can create very complex games like Kerbal Space Program or Prison Architect, or you can create gorgeous games like Ori and the Blind Forest or Cuphead. It is used by the smallest of indies to the largest of AAA companies. Looking at that list should give you confidence that anything is possible to create with the engine. Reason number 5. Extensive online services. I'm putting this one under just one reason, but really each of these services is a reason of its own. Through your Unity dashboard you can access many services which are very very valuable. If you're working as part of a team, there are lots of features to make collaboration very easy. Then you have Unity Ads, which lets you easily add adverts into your game if that's the sort of monetization you're interested in. Analytics lets you set up your own custom triggers to see where your players are winning or losing so you can make changes accordingly. Cloud Diagnostics are one of my favorites since they'll let you see what errors are happening in your game. This is extremely useful since it's very difficult to get bug reports from people and ask them to send their logs. Using this, you have a lot of information to be able to tackle any bugs that you don't actually experience yourself. And also, you have Multiplayer, which is getting a complete revamp in 2019. Reason number 6. Asset Store. The Asset Store is an excellent tool for getting up and running very quickly. Now, just like any tool, it can be used for good or for evil. You get a lot of people complaining about asset flips on Steam, and rightfully so. Downloading a complete game pack and putting it on Steam is not the same as actually making a game. But still, don't let that discourage you from browsing the asset store. You can find anything there from models to textures to sounds and really complex scripting tools like pathfinding or camera tools. You can also get official completed games to help you see how things are made. Just recently they put out the FPS complete pack which shows a complete multiplayer FPS in action. Just make sure whatever you get actually makes sense and is adapted to fit into your game. Reason number 7. Future Roadmap. You can check out their roadmap on the website to see what features they're currently working on. The most exciting one for me is the Entity Component System, which promises extremely fast execution so you can have tens of thousands of units all at once. Then you also have other cool upcoming features like a complete revamp of the terrain system and also completely new multiplayer tools. Also on there are improvements to the garbage collector, webassembly, new input system and many more. 
Being able to see the roadmap is great because it gives you confidence that the engine will continue to get supported for a very long time. So there you have it, 7 reasons to use Unity in 2019. As I said, this really is the best time to get started doing game development. Just a decade ago it would have cost tens of millions of dollars to get an engine with this much power, and nowadays it's completely free and you can actually have many engines to choose from. So go get the free version right now and get to work. If you have any questions post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.